fruit. Maybe now we can do some questions. Okay. Yeah. So what exactly are you doing? Well, I'm uh, just dressing up for the performance. And uh, so I'm just going to put the glove on. And then I put these other little pieces here on my arm and on my foot. And that's going to see how far my hand is from my other hand and from my foot. So that will make a sound. And that will make a sound sometimes, you know, it, I can make a sound. All these little different things allow you to make sounds. And uh, we'll have to uh, see as soon as I turn the power on. So this is pretty much all kind of different little switches. It's almost like I'm, ca I'm wearing a keyboard. That's what it is. It's like a, a flexible keyboard with a lot of little buttons. And this, when I bend, it's going to make a sound. And some of these is like the same things that are in cars for airbags when you're in an accident. So it sees how fast my hand is moving. And then uh, this is going to be mostly like for the distance between the two hands and then between the hand and the foot. And then it goes all here into my little bag on the back. And from there after, it goes through this cable here. And then it's going to go to the computer. So the computer can see everything I'm doing, hopefully. And what kind of sounds will you make? Uh, let's see. Let me turn on here. You, you can more close. Can sound. Maybe I'm not hooked up. Oh, I'm not turned on. Hold on. I have to check I'm not turned on here.
change the music so it's some kind of like a, a mime you can change the world around you by moving the hand and then if I go down on the floor it's gonna change the sound <laughs> recorded in the computer and then the motors are making some small rhythms and then with the glove then I can just control the sound of the motors and then there's a story that comes over this which I'm not doing right now which is the story of this woman on the train ride that comes at the same time as some of these motor sounds are coming so really it's like a kind of film yeah it's like a film and it's also like storytelling I'm telling a story and sometimes you don't hear the story, but the sounds the sound are making the story. So um, let me change to... So I can have some silence. I had to go to another sound. It's a, it's a story with sometimes words and sometimes the, the sounds of these motors and of these uh, people breathing make the story. And uh, so it's very much like a movie, a movie uh, or a dream. It's like it seems very like a dream. Yeah, it's somehow like a dream. It's somehow like if you if you have uh, you just relax and then you let sounds or images come to your head, and then some kind of stories come and you don't really know what the story is about. The story is made of memories or of pictures of things that you think you've seen and it all comes together where it's difficult to say what is real and what is not real so this is somehow like that it's it's this dreamscape and is your glove it it also seems to be a bit like a robot hand yeah it is somehow um it is a machine i'm very much interested in machine i like machines 
So in a way, the, the, it's it's almost like the machine is the machine and me. It allows me to do this, uh, control all these sounds. It's it's a little, uh, some kind of a uh, a friendship between this machine and myself. And uh, it uh, it's not a robot in the sense that everything is still done by my own muscles. It's not like I'm not controlling uh, something outside of me. But so all the muscles of my own body are controlling the way the hand works and how the senses work. Do you think that we can learn a lot from um, robots and machines? Well, I don't know if we can learn, but yeah, I think we, sh we, we probably can learn is how much learning we will want them to do. You know, if we want the robots to be stupid, then I don't know how much learning we'll do. But if we build robots that uh, are able to explore and learn things that we are not able to learn, like, you know, uh, going on to another planet and learn how things are or, or going into the oceans, then we can learn a lot of things. But it's how we want to relate to machines. Sometimes people are worried about machines. But it's too late to worry. Have you ever thought about using, um, about only using machines in your performances? Well, I started getting interested in motors, and motors are not motors are old machines. Motors are machines of the 20th century, and now that we're going to 21st century, motors are probably going to be inexistent uh, at a large, you know, the bigger motors. So I'm getting interested in motors uh, also out of nostalgia for this kind of mechanical world which is disappearing. So I'm interested in having uh, performances where motors are going to do more things, like, you know, mostly create lights and shadows and, and some kind of control the sounds that I'm interested in, in doing, yeah. Are your performances always different? Yeah, the pieces are always very different. Sometimes uh, the story is different and sometimes, like, they're very fast and very rhythmic and very chaotic and sometimes they're very slow and uh, more uh, like a Japanese kind of a gagaku music and in this particular piece it always goes between being very quiet and very empty to being very um, busy so it's I'm always going back and forth a little again like this train ride it's always changing so the pieces change but then <clears throat> you know you always recognize a certain way of working and certain sounds or certain moods, you know, that, that really are the same for a lot of artists, you know, if everybody is one person, you know, so it kind of stays. And then the other thing he does is set the microphone that one, you know, for my recording. So you don't have now a direct uh, microphone uh, link anymore, because, uh, you know, I, I, I record from there or I come to you. Yeah. So I might start walking in the first part. Yeah, yeah. So that, so we will just see how that goes. Um, what we graag zou willen is uh, beginnen met uh, sidefills uit. Ja. Yeah. Um, de microfooninstellingen voor haar. Yeah. Dan nog steeds met sidefills uit mijn instellingen. Mm -hmm. En dan uh, gaan we ja, samen ja, spelen naar gaan we kijken. Dus vooral niet als het zonder sidefills kan. Ja. Yeah. Nou, mijn voorkeur is ook nog zeker dit. Ja. Yeah. Die dingen. We zitten op één lijn. <laughs> Goed, heb jij hier last van? Of mag je dichterbij? Ja, ik kan ook. Maar ja, ik kan ook dichterbij. Jij hoeft niet dichterbij te zitten. Je kan hem ook oh. dichterbij zetten. Dat is niet het probleem. Maar even kijken waar je nee, dit, dit, dit hij op de. Hij kan niet dichterbij. Hij kan ook hierop staan, maar ik nee, vind, nee, vind nee, dit mooier. Nee, 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 maar zo is het goed. Dus dit, uh, ja. Oké. Okay. En die microfoon is alleen voor spannend. Niet en voor ik, ik dacht, nou, ik weet niet of dat mag lawaai, maar ik dacht zo te doen. Ja, dat is geen probleem. Ik kan zo even draaien. Ja, dat wou ik doen. Omdat okay. als ik speel, is hij in, in de weg. Oké. Okay. Ja. 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 So, uh, Francis, we gaan een check van de microfoons zonder de sidefills. Als we het kunnen doen zonder de sidefills, is het veel beter, want we hebben meer kans van uh, feedback. Then uh, after your microphone sound check, we will we'll check my sounds. Then we'll play together, and then we'll decide about the levels and the need of sound yeah. yeah? Yeah. So we're ready for sound check microphones, Francis. And we start with the uh, cello microphone. So I'll give you the soft and 
Cello will sound like this. Sorry, we didn't plug into the content mic, did we? We have forgotten one thing. Uh, the, there, is, there are contact mics to be plugged in on Francis Cello. There's another line connect, uh, line uh, microphone connection needed. Two or two here. Yeah. Okay. Is there anything in the mic? It's there. This one right here. The mic is there. It's on the cello. It's contact mics. Yeah, you could start with that. But let's first do the connection. So um, this is the loud on the, on the normal very instrument. Very
got changed. It got a little bit changed. Wait, Natasha said. I want to be able to move it away. Yeah, but just put it in the corner. Oh, there it is. Of yeah. So then I could swing it. Hi. Hi. Are we on? That light looks like a strobe up there. Hi, hello, one, two, three, one, 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 one. Michelle. <laughs> one. <laughs> Kinds of short, more short sounds than anything else, like shh. And I'd love to have a long tail on it. does, which is awful. It's quite metallic and very, very rich in, in overtones. Okay. I'd love it to be kind of terrible.
I just want them all. I like the kind of shh, a lot of noise in it. Shh. How are we doing? Uh, we're just having a oh, okay. Yeah, it's very subtle. Mm. Shh. 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 Take away the effect now? Uh, you have an effect, so. No. <laughs> that's only on the microphone. Only on that microphone. Yeah. yeah. That's on, the effect is only for her voice when she's using it. Natasha, can you sort of make receiving any signal from us? can sample you from here, what it does.
I really can't hear with all these people walking around. Yeah. We have to make the, where do we get sound check? We have to have quiet today. Yeah, it could be it. Yeah, it could be it. There's noises everywhere. No, it's because we try out these very low levels that we are going yeah. to use in the beginning. So, Renato, the, the, the level is pretty precise here. It, it was, it's slightly too low because you, you hear it's really amplifying yeah. itself. So you, you I, I don't see anything. On the no, no, I know. It's very difficult. This is, but th that's why we try. Okay. Try to find a level. Sampling is okay. We, I can get these low levels. Okay. Then I want to try out uh, the. the solo piece to the, the, the before last part and th this is just for you to uh, get my level straight yeah. it has nothing to do with uh, this so this can be dynamic and this is very soft uh, compared to what it should be yeah. this is almost I want, I, want, I want to see how much dynamic you have there well this is sort of really hot loud, oh, loud. yeah that should be really pain in the ear So you could turn it uh, down. The, no, 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 not that one. No, the, the microphone. No, the, yes, that's it. So when when I do that solo in part four, right? It's that microphone only needs to be open when when I'm doing the sample. Yeah. I think I will do that. Yeah. bit that kind of voodoo stuff.
play stuff that I use in the middle part. Sorry. Doesn't come up. bit of the repetitive stuff at the end. So this is where we built up together at the end and that could have a real bite. Start with sampling when it comes back. 
you know, you, you can uh, let me come in instead of this bulb coming yeah, in. Yeah, yeah. 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 So as soon as I lift the microphone like this, that's when I start recording. And six and a half seconds later, it comes back. Yeah. That's the loop length. Yeah. If you have sound. Once it's going, okay, we go. Sometimes need a bit of help. If it really starts booming that way, I can't do anything. So it's between Renato and you that you have to solve the problem. The booming is from the That's because there's too much feedback in the from the recording and the playback. This is where Frank usually, you know, knows exactly. So we have to help Renato a bit or no, I was a I think no, I was I was with the sounds. So it's it's really something that what Renato he's playing with the output or the input? He's playing with the input. Okay. He probably should leave the output constant. That's what he does. So well, if you hear that booming, take back the microphone a little bit. And then... Quiet. What? We, for several minutes, quiet. Yeah, yeah. No. But I need a bit of space to move, so if you turn me down too low, it's no, not working. Yeah. Okay. Okay. I do have a problem here. I don't hear myself. Okay. here to keep that simple a bit uh
Nou wacht, het plakband zit er tussen, dat is het natuurlijk. Oh, hij ligt gewoon niet lekker erin. Nee. Aha. Gaat het allemaal wel lukken? Nee. Jawel. <laughs> hm? Jawel. Wel? Beetje geduld. Kan er ja, heel kijk. veel misgaan, of niet? Hè? Nee, we hebben een kijk, want hij doet het weer. Dat hoor je niet. Het kan heel veel misgaan. Dat is wel Thank <laughs> you. 